Hi, this is a novice level trap and it's the Trompovsky Poison. The opening is named after the Brazilian Octavio Trompovsky and I seem to remember that Julian Hodgson was one of the first top flight players to adopt it as a regular weapon in his repertoire. And this trap is another example of a poison pawn on the b2 square. The Trompovsky here with bishop g5. What can black play? Well, one of the most aggressive lines for black is c5, because black wants to punish that bishop for leaving his starting square too early. And now that b2 pawn is a potential target after queen b6. White now avoiding exchanges in the center plays d5 and queen b6. Now white to move, does he defend b2 or not? Well, he can absolutely play knight to c3 and offer that pawn as bait. Black can in fact take it, and there are mutual chances for both sides if that pawn is taken. It is a, a legitimate target. So after queen takes b2, white now drops the bishop back to d2. And this is a move very often overlooked by black. Black now has to think that the queen's work has been done and make a timely retreat. But if he plays a move such as e6 in the center, black is now losing rook b1. Because after queen a3, knight b5, and we've got the queen being threatened on a3, and the knight wants to get into c7 with a check rook. If queen takes a2 just to pick up a pawn, that's not going to be of any help. White can jump into c7 straight away or maybe rook a1 first since the d5 pawn can't, cannot be taken because knight c7 will be a nice family check. And after queen b2, knight c7, check rook. That rook on a8 cannot look forward to an eventful future. After king d8, knight takes a8, picking up the rook. White here is winning. So black should have retreated his queen to b6 earlier and he paid the price for that. So this has been the Trompovsky Poison. Hope it was useful. Bye-bye.